Hey YouTube, what's up? It's Lark here again. Something has come to my attention and I thought, you know, everybody should know about it if they don't, and that is that Dash mining, in particular cloud mining for Dash, is dead. You hear it, heard it here first, right? So if you've already been invested in it, sit back, relax, you're still going to get something. If you're thinking about investing in Dash on the cloud mining websites now, you better listen to this first. Uh, before we get too much into the details, I just want to take a quick moment to thank everyone who's been liking and subscribing to the video, uh, my channel and checking out my videos. Thanks so much. Your support's really appreciated. So what's going on in the Dash world? Now, Dash is awesome. It's such a cool coin. I really, really like it. But what we're seeing right now with Dash is because of the profitability of the coin, we are seeing a massive uptake in Dash mining. And recently, we've seen the, a major, major jump in the difficulty levels to mine Dash. So it's jumped from 300 to about 600,000 uh, just this week. So that's that's huge, really, when you talk about, you know, uh, if you've got your mining rigs already, for example, you know, a 300 mega hash miner has just become, you know, half as powerful, may as well be 150 now, right? And so um, my estimate or perhaps prediction, speculation, if you will, is that we're going to see a, a million quite easily by the end of the year, potentially much more than that. And so you got to ask yourself, why is this happening? It's not just the cloud miners, let me tell you. Bitmain and InnoSilicon are quickly bringing out machines that are going to change the market completely. This, in my mind, is quite similar to what happened when uh, people who were mining Bitcoin six or seven years ago on their, you know, PCs uh, got overtaken by people who started using professional mining rigs, right? It totally changed the game. And look, there has been professional Dash mining rigs around for quite a bit, but they haven't been massively high-powered machines. The one that Bitmain's bringing out now is, um, what was it, 12 gigahashes, which is immense, immense power. InnoSilicon is bringing out one that's 30 giga hashes and can be clocked up to 38. Insane. So if you have a 100 mega hash plan over on Genesis or on Hashflare, for example, it's not going to give you very good returns overall, right? Uh, in a year's time, when all of these uh, new mining rigs come on board, it Look, you still got a few months where you're probably going to be getting some profit out of these plans, you know, because these new machines aren't going to be available until October or so. You know, the pre-orders are just starting to happen now. And there's been a flash sale for a few of them. You know, some people already have them on the network, and I'm sure these companies are using some of them on the network as well. It's probably why we've seen the jump, right? But this time next year, your 100 mega hash cloud mining contract probably isn't going to be worth the the digital paper it's printed on, so to speak, right? Um, my expectation is that we're going to see new contracts coming out from Genesis and from Hashflare offering, you know, uh, Dash mining by the giga hash, not by the mega hash anymore. Or if you are buying mega hashes, the price is going to have to go way down for it to be uh, profitable for them to sell it to us. Right. Um, hopefully, though, as a side benefit, even if you do just just stay with your original uh, plan, um, hopefully we're going to see the price of Dash going up because uh, the uptake of Dash with Apple and uh, of the Dash evolution that's uh, coming out pretty soon. You can check out my other videos uh, for that if you want. Uh, I've talked about Dash quite a bit already. But hey, you know, this. This uh, just reminds me about one thing, really, that you have to keep in mind at all times when doing anything in the cryptocurrency world. It is incredibly volatile, right? Very susceptible to new technologies. And that's what we've seen. The whole, you know, cloud mining uh, dash industry has, you know, taken a major hit overnight just because of uh, a few new uh, computers that were brought out, right? The new ASIC mining rigs. You know, and hey, I, I, you know, everyone, everyone that uh, signed up for those programs, they got hit, you know, to an extent at least. You know, I put 500 bucks into Genesis and, you know, I probably won't see my return on investment. Maybe I will, but it will definitely take a lot longer than before. It went from, you know, being a, a quite profitable plan to being uh, not very profitable uh, at all very quickly. But, you know, this is, again, classic uh, investing, right? Don't put all your eggs in one basket. You know, it's if I put all my money into um, 
mining dash over on Genesis or something, well, I might be worried. But, uh, you know, it's just one of one of the many things that I've uh, sort of put my money into as far as investment wise, you know. So, um, look, it's a little disappointing for me because I love dash and I wanted to really, you know, get some coins from that. So, um you know, there's a few solutions if you're still really into Dash and you don't let this uh, get you down too much. You know, and the one solution is, of course, to try and get a miner, right? Uh, Bitmain's probably got the best deal and the most successful for, you know, regular human beings. Um, they do a $2,700 uh, 12 giga hash machine, which is probably going to give you some pretty decent returns. Now, look, the returns that are advertised now if you go and look it up, you make like $17,000 a year or something off of this. That is not what the reality is going to be. You might make some really big profits in your first month or two, but you got to remember really soon, a massive amount of really high powered machines are going to hit, hit the internet and people are going to be using these at their homes and the difficulty level is going to go through the roof. And so you're not going to be making the expected, you know, hundred thousand dollars or whatever you think you're going to make uh, off these machines because the difficulty when you get it in three months will have already changed drastically and when thousands hundreds of thousands of these machines start uh, mining away the difficulty is just going to go through the roof yet again which is again the reason why the cloud mining contracts that you have now or even the mining rig that you have right now if you have a 300 or 150 mega hash by cal miner it's not even going to be worth running it in a year you know so Mine really you can. Mine really you can for sure. Um, so if you can get one of those miners, like I said, really try and do it. The InnoSilicon one is um, a minimum order of three, and it's $50,000. So if you have $50,000 and you want to invest it, you should go over to InnoSilicon and you know, get three of those machines because they're going to get you a serious return on profit, even if the difficulty goes through the roof because they are the top of the line machine. If you can get one from Bitmain, get one of those. That's still going to return you a nice profit over time. So definitely something to, to keep an eye out for. Uh, you can just go and buy Dash too. You know, if you bought Dash last week when the prices were way down, you would you have already made 70 bucks off of uh, each coin that you would have bought if you bought it when it was at 120 or 130, whatever it was. Um, you can always, of course, just sit back and wait. You know, Genesis Mining and Hashflare, they are both, you know, companies that want to make money. And basically, no one's going to buy their Dash contracts anymore, so they're going to have to adapt to. Like I said, you're going to see uh, programs coming out from them pretty soon, you know, probably offering a, I don't know, a giga hash for 150 bucks or something like this, you know. So it's not to say there won't be that opportunity to invest with them again, too. So you can keep an eye out for those. Uh, and of course, you know, the, the rock in the storm is Bitcoin. Bitcoin, 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 you know, it's... Uh, I know we almost overlook it sometimes. We get so excited with all these other coins, but, you know... Invest in some Bitcoin, you know, grab a grab yourself a Bitcoin miner or just throw some money at the um, the contracts online with the cloud mining services because their their Bitcoin contracts are actually fairly competitive and you will get Bitcoin, which is going to explode much more than any other coins. But, you know, Dash, I really think it's going to go up, too. So you can keep an eye out for that as well. Anyway, just uh, you hear it, heard it here first, guys. Cloud mining as it is right now for Dash is dead. So. Good luck if you got a plan out there. Hopefully we can get a little bit back uh, from our investment on that. Uh, anyway, thanks to everyone who uh, has watched the video. And of course, as always, if you uh, if you liked it, you know, show some love down below. Hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel. If you are going to be uh, running over to Hashflare to grab, uh, you know, some sweet Bitcoin contracts, use my affiliate code down below. It really helps out. And um, if you are going to go over and invest in uh, some money in Genesis, um, don't buy the Dash contract, but go get some Bitcoin over there. And, you know, you'll see that as a decent return in time anyway. So, guys. Have a great night.